the individual matters. Often it is said that the greatest sermons in life are those preached to a crowd of people. An example of this could be inside of a church from the pulpit, preached by the minister to the congregation. And then there is, of course, what has been described as the greatest sermon ever preached. And that is known as the Sermon on the Mount, preached by Jesus Christ. But arguably, the greatest sermons could also be said to be to the individual. You see, Jesus took time out to both speak to and heal a blind man who was begging, saying, what wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, receive thy sight, thy faith hath saved thee. You can find that in Luke 18, verses 41 to 42. Now, there was a great crowd of people around Jesus, and he was, of course, focused on his mission to save man from their sin. But he didn't see this blind beggar as just part of the crowd. He saw him as an individual crying out for mercy, and he went and helped him. And then we have the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment and was healed. And Jesus, who was in the midst of a crowd pressing about him, stopped and wanted to speak directly with the woman whom he healed. And you can find this in Luke 8, 43 to 48. Jesus even took time from dying on the cross for our sins to respond in love and in mercy to the thief on the cross. And he said unto Jesus, this is the thief speaking, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee today, shalt thou be with me in paradise. Often people think that being busy and surrounded by crowds means that we don't have time for the individual. But Jesus preached a sermon of love, not for groups of people, but for the individual. A wonderful quote to show us that Jesus is focused on the individual is this one here. This is uh, by Ellen White. And then there's another quote after this I'm sharing. For one soul is precious, very precious, in the sight of God. Christ would have died for one soul in order that one might live through the in eternal ages. <clears throat> and then of course she says, the work of preparation is an individual work. We are not saved in groups. The message of the gospel is that God loves you. And this is you, the individual. Not groups, not countries, not, not churches, not denominations. No, he loves you, the individual. The Lord wants you to come to the foot of the cross and to receive, and he wants to receive you unto himself. We have all gone astray, as did the prodigal son, but as the prodigal son's return to his father was greatly celebrated, and so we too, upon our return to our father in heaven, will be celebrated. So come to the foot of the cross, because God loves you.